One of the things that I like most about Starlink is that they're continually improving and updating and adding new features to their hardware and software via software updates. And if you're familiar with any of Elon Musk's other products, like Tesla, for example, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Even on their older cars from like 2015, 2017, they're still updating the software and giving those customers the same kind of new features and improvements that the newer cars uh, would receive. And Starlink's not really any different. You can see the same approach there where even if you have the original round dish, you're still getting the new features and the new app updates that give you access to additional things that the new customers would receive. So last month I did a video on the completely revamped statistics page in the app. That update gave new information and updated the visualizations of some of the existing information that you had available there. And that information in the statistics page is really useful for troubleshooting your dish and just kind of generally seeing what's going on with your system. But apparently the Starlink app team is not done yet. They've just released a new firmware update for all Starlink dish models that enables a new feature in the statistics page. You'll now see a new graph for power draw or power consumption at the bottom of the statistics page on the app. This was added in a dish firmware update and if you're not familiar with it, we have a DISH firmware update tracker on our website, so I'll put a link to that in the description below. That page also explains how you can check your firmware version so you can compare the latest update to your current software update. So if you're checking your phone right now for the Starlink app for this new power draw graph and you don't see it, it might be because you haven't gotten that update yet. So just have to be patient there, wait, wait a week or so, and usually everybody gets updated within a couple weeks. So this new power draw graph on the statistics page is pretty interesting because it shows you your average usage for the last 15 minutes. So every minute the Starlink dish will calculate its power consumption and then graph it on, on the statistics page. And it gives you a nice visualization of what's going on with your system. For example, you can see spikes where the Starlink dish is heating for like snow and ice conditions or even rain when the signal to noise ratio drops too low, Starlink will increase power output from the power supply to compensate. You can also see like if your dish is down during a power outage or some other cable failure or event, you, you'll be able to see. But it's really cool because now you don't need any additional hardware. You don't, it takes all the guesswork basically out of knowing what the power requirements are for your own Starlink unit. There's so much misinformation and kind of conflicting reports out there about power consumption. And that's because people are measuring it and reporting it in different ways for different units. Now this gives you your own data without relying on any third party hardware or tools. You just open up the app and you can see a nice visualization of the power draw for the last 15 minutes for your dish right in the strong app. So on the screen right now, I'm showing the average power consumption for my Gen 3 standard dish that I have. It's my residential unit that's installed on my home. And as you can see, it's well below the average power consumption that Starlink quotes on the specifications page on the website. And I've noticed this with basically every dish model. They tend to overstate the power consumption averages on the website. In the real world, when I've been testing them, I've noticed that it's typically below or toward the, min toward the lower range of their estimate. If you're using a third party router, you might notice a little bug with this graph. If you see the graph and it's just showing a flat line for zero watts, that's a known issue at this time. It looks like Starlink is not supporting third-party routers and the reporting of power draw for the Starlink dish. Now, what is unclear at this time is whether Starlink even meant to give third-party router users that graph or whether it's just a software bug that is not reporting the power draw correctly if you're in bypass mode. So if you're seeing that, if you're wondering why that's occurring, that's why it's a bug right now, Either they're gonna fix it in a future update or it'll be taken away out of your statistics page in your app if they didn't mean to release that feature at all for third-party router users. You know, honestly, even though I use my mini and my standard dish for camping and I often run on battery power, I really didn't even think about this as a potential feature. So it's really cool that Sterling introduced this, you know, without any announcement, just out of the blue. It didn't seem like very many people were asking for it. I know people are curious about what their Starlink uses in terms of power consumption, but I didn't really see that many suggestions or, or people saying, you know, give us power consumption in the app. So it's really cool to see them 
releasing this kind of new feature for every Starlink user. But go ahead and open up the Starlink app and check it out for yourself. Make sure your app is up to the latest version and then check your firmware version of your dish to the firmware list that we maintain on our website so you can see if you're on that correct version. I'd love to know what you think of this new feature. And as always, I appreciate you watching and supporting the channel. We'll see you in the next video.